Hello everyone. So before I begin, it's just a, a fact I just looked over uh, at when I was searching on uh, the CDC website. And uh, that fact is uh, about one in four young adults are too, uh, are too heavy to serve in the military. So I think that is extremely scary. Um, and I just want you to keep that in the back of your minds while I go through this vlog. So to begin, the, the website I chose for my vlog is www.heart.org. Um, the name of my article is uh, Why is Physical Activity So Important for Health and Well-Being? To start, the article basically states what we, uh, what we already know to be true, which is staying active is one of the best ways to keep your body healthy. The article also emphasizes physical uh, fitness, such as a uh, or it emphasizes the benefits of physical fitness, I'm sorry, such as uh, looking better, feeling better, and uh, living a better lifestyle. The, this article relates to health and wellness coaching because everyone needs physical fitness and physical activity to live a healthy lifestyle. Being physically fit and the amount of physical activity that you partake in will have an impact on, uh, on your life at some point in time. Um, so before I go on, I just wanted to like mention some of the immediate benefits that you get from a uh, physical activity and uh, that's improved thinking and cognition for children six to 13 and reduce short term feelings of anxiety for adults. Um, it can also help uh, help you keep your thinking, learning and judgment skills sharp as you age. And it can also help reduce your risk of depression, anxiety and help you sleep better. And that's for all ages. So uh, next, I will use this information to inform my clients that muscular fitness and physical activity will literally change your life. Um, it's not too many lifestyle choices that you can make that will have uh, as large as an impact as a uh, physical activity. And um, another benefit from physical activity, uh, if um, people who are physically active for 150 minutes per week or two and a half hours per week, same thing, have a 33 percent lower risk of all cause morality than those who are physically inactive. That is a. Uh, just just hearing that is enough to uh, for somebody to change their lifestyle. If not, it's always uh, always more facts. Uh, being physically fit can lower your your blood pressure. It can improve your blood flow. It can keep your weight under control, and it can prevent bone loss that can lead to osteoporosis. People also tend to live seven years longer than their counterparts who are uh, physically inactive. And physically fit and act, uh, activity helps delay or prevent chronic illness and diseases associated with aging. So I would say this information is important, is uh, important and beneficial to all clients. But uh, I would most likely recommend it to uh, to women and men over the age of twenty. And uh, I say that because um, when you get to that age of twenty, that's when you start losing uh, or your muscular strength decreases uh, ten to twenty percent between the ages of twenty and fifty. So I think that's uh, I think it's more important for that that age group to to basically benefit from a physical activity or to start benefiting from it. Um, the way I would set each client up would just be uh, be using smart goals. Of course, it would um it'd depend on gender and depend on the age range, but I, I would use smart goals to to set each client up. Um, my biblical view of this information is uh, I believe everyone has a gift, and you should be using that gift to to basically make the world a better place, as I'm sure everyone is. Um, everyone's gift to the world is important, and you want to do that. You want to you want to be able to, to provide that gift to the world as long as possible, as long as it's physically possible. So what other better way would it be to ensure that you can uh, stay physically fit and able to provide that gift by uh, by staying in shape and by being physically active so you can live a long, healthy life and spread whatever gift you have to others for as long as you live? So um, I'm going to leave on the scripture. It is uh, 1 Peter chapter 4. Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others faithfully, administering God's grace in its various forms. Thank you guys for listening.